this game has over 70 objectives of big worlds you can explore, and a whole bunch of things you can do. In fact, you see here, uh, Rick exploring his deviant side by wrecking his yard. Uh, and that's kind of my cue to get us to the next demo. So I hope you guys like what you saw with the Sims 3. So clearly, the next game we're going to show you is Need for Speed. Now, Need for Speed is the world's largest racing franchise. Um, and this game is going to be exciting because it's really going to show you what we can do on this device when pushing the performance. And what you can see here is Rick's favorite car, the Nissan GTR. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to customize the look of the car and show you all the different things you can do even before you race. So here we're using the touchscreen to move, move around through the world. Um, Rick is using the touchscreen to simply drag his fingers up and down and change the color in real time. Right, really cool. We're going with this bright red so we can see the, the modifications we made later in the game. The next thing we're going to do is customize performance. So Rick's now just tapping right on the screen and he's changing the spoiler on the back. Let's go with that one. That's good. It's kind of low profile. Um, and what's interesting about these modifications is they're not just cosmetic. This actually affects gameplay. Right? So this spoiler won't change the way the car performs. Um, here you can see Rick selecting different challenges. There's a whole host of challenges we can choose from, but we're just going to choose a quick straight race, right? Something just to get us into the demo. Now what you're going to see next is that red card that we just modified with that new spoiler and that nice red, red color. Now again, this is all running in real time, in full 3D, on the plugin SDK. And it looks gorgeous. And it's running again at a really, really phenomenal frame rate. Now as Rick's driving, you're going to notice he's using the accelerometer. Right? So he's tilting this thing back and forth. And the reason we use the accelerometer for a game like Need for Speed is because we want to keep this screen clear of any obstruction so that as the action's happening, you're not covering it up with your finger. So let's show you what some of this stuff looks like. Let's push the limits of the palm by hitting our nitro. So Need for Speed, Sims 3, and a whole bunch of other games are available by EA on the store today. And hope you like what you saw. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>